One of the biggest announcements at Google I.O. this year was Project Astra. This is Google's vision of a multimodal assistant that can do so many different things. And I'm here on the ground at Google I.O. to give you a demo, walk through it myself for the very first time and see everything that it can do. Let's try it. Headset on, it's very loud in here, so this is so it can hear me properly. We've got a couple of different modes up here. We've got Storyteller, Pictionary, Alliteration, and Freeform. I'm going to experiment with Gemini's storytelling abilities, as it says, and I've got a whole range of different objects that I can play with, all on the shelf here, as well as a couple of different photos. And as you can see, as I'm talking, <laughs> it's actually transcribing everything that I say. All right, this is my dog. My dog is called Monty. And this is a cat. This is a cat called Harry. The second photo I see. This time we're being the feline face, gazing regally from within. Monty, forever trapped in his summer field, tilting his head in curiosity at the newcomer. Harry, eternally basking in the somewhat warmth of the photograph, narrowed his eyes, a low growl rumbling in his throat. Would this new challenge his claim to this new territory? Yeah. So it's just made up a whole story <laughs> about these two, do this dog and this cat. Okay, so I'm going to remove Monty and say, Monty's gone away now. Um, where did Monty go? The field in the photograph stands empty. Monty having wandered off to explore beyond the frames. Perhaps chasing butterflies or lured the distant scent on a summer breeze? Sounds like a pretty good life. Okay, that's the storyteller demo. All right, let's try Pictionary now. This is another demo. You get to see my terrible drawing skills. <laughs> so let's draw. Oh, what did you say, Gemini? I said I'm sure your drawing skills aren't that bad. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so as you could hear that I could interrupt Gemini and it would pause and then respond and pick up to me. That was pretty cool. It's almost like, almost like I'm talking with a real person. Okay, let's draw. Oh my goodness. Um, put me on the spot here. It's neat to see the system respond that way, isn't it? It is, is pretty cool. <gasps> is it a palm tree? How did you guess? That's actually pretty good that it guessed that it was a palm tree. I mean, I'm a terrible drawer and that's exactly what I was going for, even though the, the trunk is red. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. <laughs> Let's try it one more quickly. Let's try freeform. Let's just go with the flow. Okay, Gemini, what, what is this? What is this? That looks like a loaf of bread. Is it perhaps a baguette? I think it is a baguette. If I was going to make a recipe with that and this and this and maybe these, what would you suggest? Something sweet. With eggs and greens, perhaps you could make a bad pudding. Would you like some suggestions? Yes, just quickly. You can make a classic bread pudding with a baguette and add a fruit for a unique flavor. Not bad. Keep the baguette, toss it with butter and sugar, and bake it for a simple and delicious treat. Okay. Thanks, Gemini. So that's your first look at Project Astra. It's felt really, really natural to be able to converse with it like this and do all of these different tasks. Uh, I see a lot of promise in where this is going. This was really kind of natural, wild, and I feel like it, it's going to blow my mind even more the more I think about it rather than just doing a quick demo for you here. Yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Thanks for watching CNET. Make sure to check out full Google I.O. coverage right now.